Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless. Don't you wish that uh, when you were using Liquify that you can go back in and change something and, and just continue using it or, or refine it? Well, unfortunately you can't. But there is a kind of a workaround and I'm going to show it to you and I'm also going to talk about smart objects. There's a lot of talk about smart objects right now because Affinity 1.8 came out and it can read Photoshop smart objects. The word smart objects came from Photoshop. All it means is if you right click on a group of things and you say create, make a smart object, what it's really doing is creating another file and then embedding it into your object. So I've given several tutorials on how to do smart objects in Affinity, and uh, I'll put the links below. So please check those out because it'll give you more of an understanding. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to show you how I did this. I will hide this portion of my screen. What I want to sh really show you is you can mimic Liquify in certain ways and then still have it as a live object that you can change or uh, I should say smart object. So you can do it either way, whether it's in your actual program or whether you embed it. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to do file and place. And I created this. And I'm not going to show you this side of my screen. I just want to show you what I created. And so we'll do this. So really what I did was I just sorted this guy quite a bit. So what I really want to do now is change that distortion a little bit. So I'm going to say Edit Document. And what I'll do now is let's say I want his chin to be a little different. Maybe I want the chin to be really big and maybe one of his eyes. Let me go to uh, see if, let me go to his eyes like that or maybe that way. And then I think what's next, his ear. I think I did his ear at one point. His ear could be big or it could be really tiny like that. Let's make it really tiny. And I would think that's fine, right? So now I go back to my, my drawing and it's now updated. So it's kind of like a liquify that you can keep adjusting. And if you think that, that, that this is on a white background, so let's pull in another background. Let's, um, yeah, I'm just going to do a color background and let's make it, let's make it a blue and put it behind him. There he is, he's still distorted like that. And once again, if I want to, I can just say to myself, well, you know what, I, I think I want his ear really big and his eye, maybe even here, maybe, maybe I want his eye like this way. A little bit up like that. And then I go back and the new changes have taken place there. So that's kind of a smart object with Liquify. And so now, it's not really Liquify, obviously, but you can do different things because of it. So now I'm going to actually show you how I did it. Close this. I'm not even going to save it. File open that I just had, and I'm going to delete this. So. I pulled this picture in from stock photos. It really, the picture has no bearing on this. You could do anything you want, any picture. I do like to duplicate just in case. So I'll keep a duplicate there. And then now I'm working on this. And if you go to live filters, which is down here, and you go to, you can do more than just pinch and punch, but I was using pinch and punch. The one thing about pinch and punch is it only takes one section. So you have to find a spot and make, let's make it exaggerated, very exaggerated. Let's, let's do this. And you move around and say I wanted him to have his cheeks a little up like that. Well, that's fine. The problem is now if I want to do something else, I lose the first section. It doesn't keep it. 
it changes things as I'm moving around this way. But what you could do, which is really interesting, is you can double up and triple up on these things. So for example, if I want to just, maybe I just want him to have a bigger mouth. Let's just give him a mouth bigger like that, right? And I'm going to close that. And now on this again, I am going to select the boy and do live filter again. I'm going to do pinch and punch again. This one that I did with the lips, I'll just call it lips. And maybe the second one, let's decide what we want to do. So double click on it and this, this opens up and pick a spot. For, bring it all the way up first, just to exaggerate whatever we're going to do. So let's do something like that. Now let's maybe, yeah, here's what we made. So let's give him a little bit more of a full head like that. And I like that. And this decides how much. You can like really go exaggerate it, but I didn't want to exaggerate it too much. I'll just go a little bit of hair there. And then if I, and I could call this hair, oops, hair. Um, and if I want to do hair on the other side, we can just add another one. So let's do that. Pinch and punch. And let's exaggerate what we're going to do. And maybe we're just going up here and adding a little bit more of a, actually, I'm just going to give him a bigger eye there, which is really pretty ugly. And now remember, you can shrink his, you can shrink it. Whatever you chose the spot, you can, you can make him wink. <laughs> Come on. He looks, he's looking at you and thinking you're sexy. Just give, give him a wink. There you go. <laughs> so that's that. So now what happens is you save this document and I had already saved it, but I'm going to save it again. File, save. And now if you open a new document, let's even close this file. Close. Now file new. And I hate this whole setup, but that's the new way that, um, Affinity has 1.8. I'm just going to go to letter. I'm in print, so I'll go to letter. And I'm going to go 150 because I don't want it to be that big. DPI. And I could be working on this whole thing. And let's say I give it a gradient background. Oops. I got to add it. I'm going to give a gradient background. There's a new layer, gradient background. And let's pick the gradient. Let's do, I don't know, light blue. And then pick the other side. And, well, that's pretty ugly. Let's just do something to that effect. And I'll move this down a little bit. So that's one layer. Now, if I place something, so I'm going to do file, place, and remember that file we just created is right here. So I can place this and it's completely distorted. And you see how it says embedded? That means it's a smart object. If I'm here, it doesn't say anything on top. But if I click that layer and say edit document, I can go to that edit document. And I'm thinking, you know what? I'm not really liking that eye very much. I can shrink the eye back down and then if I go back to my document, the eye is small again. And if I'm in my document and I'm going to try this for the first time, I'm hoping it works because it should work this way because it's a smart object. If I decide now I want to, uh, let's see, let's try curves. If I want curves and I want him to be really bright like that, which I really don't want, but let's make him really, just really bad like that. And that's fine, right? And that is in this document. But I can go back to my original, and he's still the same. So it's, he, the curves did not affect him, but it did affect this document. So you can do lots of things. I'm going to get rid of those curves. But um, so now, for example, I can do in this particular document, I can say, uh, let's do a live perspective. 
and let's let's kind of do this right and maybe this something like that so maybe he's in on a some kind of thing on a wall I don't know let's just I'm doing this very quickly I'm just trying to give you the basics on this so that's him right there right and so that's it but now if I go back remember what this looks like so now if I go back to the original one which is this one and maybe I didn't like his lips so big whoops that wasn't his lips let's see which one this was okay let's make his eye really big and then go back he's distorted still but his eye is now big so that's what really a smart object is now, unfortunately, you re this is not really liquify, but you get the idea that it could be. Let's get rid of this perspective part here. You get the idea because if you go to the original, I'm going to go back to the original. Uh, embedded. Here we go. If you go back to the original and then maybe give it a different kind like, like here's sphere. I'm not sure how these are going to work. Here, lens distortion. So let's see what lens distortion will do. Uh, let's raise this up. And I think, see how you can do kind of things like this? You can make this really, <laughs> you can do some pretty cool things. And now I can just, I can go like that. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> or I can make him big. Let's give him, let's keep him as, let's keep him as Beetlejuice. And then now go back to my, other one and there he is so it's not a hundred percent liquify but it is interesting I mean I thought this was cool now the thing I don't like is if you give this now this this is the embedded document if you give this I'm gonna duplicate it just to show you what I mean I'm gonna hide this one if you do try to do something that's not live it will no longer be an embedded document and that's the part I wish that affinity would work out for example what I would really like to do with this is give it um, a mesh warp and the problem with that is it's see what happened it's no longer embedded so once I do a mesh warp like this like if I wanted to do this this is not connected to my original I cannot go back to my original and change this because even if I went back to my original, which is this one, and change something like this, and come back here, this did not change. Now, this one did, because this is still embedded. So be very careful not to do uh, something that is not live. So I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, please click like and subscribe, and have a good day. Take care. Bye. I hope you found these videos useful. If you did, please click like and subscribe. And if you'd like to support me, you can buy me a cup of coffee at buymeacupofcoffee.com slash df. And I hope you'll check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.